Hi, my name is Nobu Amori, and this is the third video for IOR 190G at UC Berkeley. I actually got a haircut between the last video and this, but anyway, the company that I will talk about today is Google. Specifically, I will talk about how Google can maximize its investment in buying out Motorola Mobility. So a quick overview for today, um, Google bought Motorola, which is pending approval, and I will talk about the terms of the buyout. I will also talk about how much Google is making from its Android and how much Motorola Mobility is making right now, and how Google can use Motorola's patents to make money for themselves. So a quick overview of Google Android's current market share. They have about 50% in both the US and worldwide shipments in 2011. Also, more smartphones were sold than PCs in 2011 and about 240 million units of Google Androids were sold in 2011. So that's a lot of units. In terms of the buyout deal, Google agreed to buy Motorola for 12.5 billion, which turns out to be about 9 billion since Motorola still has about 3 billion in cash that Google will get from them. And in the acquisition, Google will get about 25,000 patents from Motorola. Since this is a major acquisition, the government's in some places have to approve it before it can go ahead but from yesterday's news it looks like the US will approve the buyout and the EU will probably do so pretty soon. Earlier this week Google also sent out an email or some sort of communication to other companies interested in Motorola's patents saying that Google will agree to license them in fair terms if that is what should be done. The thing is, Motorola owns some standard patents like patents for 3G and it is essential for other companies to be able to license them. In the acquisition, patents become really important because from the looks of it, Motorola is not going to give Google any profits, at least in the short term. So Google's been making money for about 10 years straight now, but Motorola actually made no money in any of the four quarters last year. Google doesn't directly benefit from more Android units being sold, so Motorola can't help them make more money in that way. Motorola's patents could help Google out in the patent war because Motorola owns so many of important patents such as 3G wireless that other companies want and are using right now. So the main opponent, one of the main opponents for Google is Apple with their iPhone and iPad. So Motorola actually succeeded in getting a prime uh, first ruling against Apple in Germany, which is under appeal right now. But since Motorola won against Apple and if Google gets Motorola's patents, they will Apple will have to deal with Google. Maybe Google now has some leverage against Apple. It's important to note that Apple's not directly suing Google in most of the cases, but Google can now help protect its manufacturers. Another key player in this war is Microsoft, which doesn't have much market share, so Google can maybe team up with Microsoft to fight against Apple. And since Microsoft's actually making money off Android right now, it makes sense for Microsoft to somewhat promote Android, at least over the iOS, so potential ally right there. Another way Google can make money from Motorola's patents is to make an official Android build which they can maybe force manufacturers to use or their products will be crippled. And by doing so, maybe they can charge some money per device, so for 250 million devices if they can get $10, that's 2.5 billion. Or more likely they will push use of Google services like Google Search, YouTube, to them so that Google can actually increase their ad revenue. Of course, Google might be able to just save money by using Motorola's patents and talking to Apple and say, well, now we can have a deal or some sort of peace agreement, and then that will save money for both sides. So we'll see what happens. So that's it for today. Um, of course, it would make sense for everyone to agree on a deal for the public's good, but for Google, do you think it would make sense for them to stop fighting or try to leverage Motorola's patents and keep them fighting?